Welcome to Foffer AI, the channel where we explore the world of artificial intelligence and its latest tools and techniques. So this is a follow-up video to my first video on the control net models and the pre-processes. If you haven't checked that one out yet, I'd go to that one first because that covers the majority of the models that are available with control net. This one is going to cover two of the new ones that have just come out. They're from Tencent Arc, and you might see them labeled as T2I adapters, and they are the style and color models. As before, we're going to use the same input images and prompts. So we've got a photo of this interior living room, sort of Japanese kind of style, and we're going to turn, try and turn that into a cyberpunk cafe. And we've got our cyberpunk couple, and we're trying to turn this painting into something that is a photo. We want them to be 30 something and we want it to be summery and summer clothes. Uh, so the first one we're going to look at is color. So this is our starting image and this is the result that you get from the preprocessor. So you see it breaks down the image into these squares and you can see if I flick back between them You've got this sort of dark area on the right where the shadow is. You've got the lighter areas on the left. And then you've got the, the browns and the sepia tones that we kind of uh, can see in this original image. And there's this little patch of green here, which kind of corresponds to this plant. And then if we go to our output, so this is the result with the prompt, beautiful cyberpunk cafe, dawn light, warm tones, morning scene with windows. This looks like a cafe, more than many of the other results did in the previous video. And it looks kind of cyberpunky, kind of like the, the dusty scenes in Blade Runner 2049. You've got some cityscape out of those windows and it could be in the middle of a sandstorm. Interestingly, we've also got this plant here that's probably picked up on that green that we were looking at. And so if we flip between these, you can see we've got the same sort of light areas and dark areas, but the actual structure of the image has completely gone. We haven't got any of the, the table and those vertical uh, wooden slats or the framed pictures. We've got something completely new, but it matches the prompt and it matches the original coloring. Now let's look at our cyberpunk couple. So cyberpunk couple on the left, pretty classic cyberpunk neon colors sort of purple cyan and we can see that that's coming across in the output of our preprocessor so it's quite an interesting result we've got this this sort of pattern background behind our 30 something couple and their clothes are summery there's a summer dress and a short sleeve shirt and it's it's kind of had to come up with a way of making those colors summery and it's done a pretty good job so the next one we're going to look at is style and style is interesting because you have to use it with the clip vision preprocessor and that preprocessor doesn't give you an output that you can save. There's no saved detective map that you can look at. So we're going to have a look at our input and then go straight to the output. This picture, the style of it, you could say is interior, it's photo, it's slightly Japanese feeling. If we go to our output, we've got some of that. We've got something of an interior. It has a slight Japanese feel to it. It's not very cyberpunky and it's not really looking like a cafe. So the balance isn't quite right on this. With this example, if I wanted to make it a bit better, if I wanted it to match the original tones, I might weight the control net a bit more. So increase the weighting from 1 to 1.2 maybe, give that a go, and then play around with the prompt. Maybe give some more emphasis on the cyberpunk part of the prompt. Now the second example is a lot more interesting. In this example, we've asked for a 30-something cyberpunk couple, and we're asking for a photo, but at the same time we're saying, match the style of this original image so it's okay for it to be confused in this situation and we're kind of getting something that is like a cross between the two it's not perfectly matching that original style and it's also not a photo 
but the result is actually quite interesting. It's also interesting how it's kind of mirrored the original. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that result. It, the style's a bit brighter than the original as well. I'd probably try and tone it down a bit, maybe reduce the weighting of the style in this example. So let's look at one more example. Uh, and this is an example which I have generated lots of outputs from. So this is my starting image. This is one of my mid-journey creations. It's a sort of futuristic scene with quite a strong style. And I wanted to see if I could recreate that style in other images with different prompts. So the first thing I tried to do was to capture the style of that image in an interior living room. So here's a grid of outputs. They all have the same prompt and the same weighting. And I had to balance the weighting of the style and the start point and end point. So I think I, I had a weighting of about 0 0.7 and a starting guidance point of 0 0.2. And if we just sort of scroll through this grid, we can see that each of them keeps aspects of the style. Some of them revert back to being uh, a scene with buildings rather than an interior, which shows that the balance is really quite tight on this one. So every sort of one in six or seven images seems to be of uh, a cityscape rather than the interior that I'm prompting for. Sometimes you get the this cityscape reappearing in pictures within the interior, which in itself is quite interesting. Sometimes they're getting photos, but generally the pastel tones are coming through and they all feel a little bit like the original. Uh, I think I'd, I want them to be more like the original, but if I up the weighting, I end up with too many pictures that look like this one. So I guess what, what I'm trying to say here is it's a really tight balancing game with using style and clip vision and you really need to do a lot of experimentation to try and get the exact images you want see i think this is probably my favorite from the set because it's an interior it feels like it could be in that world based on what's going on outside you've got those nice pastel tones and at the same time it's kind of like a painting rather than a photo so with a little bit of work and a little bit of experimentation, I was able to find the right balance of this style that I wanted to reuse. And then I was able to change the prompt and create lots and lots of images that all sort of sit within that same universe. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that interesting. And if you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks very much.